Previously on ACW TV, the feud between Mike Mercury and Kamikaze Ken goes all the way back to June when Double M became the superstar and dropped his tag team champion partner with a vengeance. Since then, the superstar has been able to avoid Kamikaze, but tonight they meet in pursuit of the television title. Two weeks ago, Adrian Lynch reclaimed his ACW heavyweight belt with a tainted victory over Pimp Daddy Rob Norwood. And Electric Eric Freedom finally evened the score with Angelo Stefano as the Hammers Brothers fended off an unexpected attack from Rockin' Randy and the Superstar. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here in the locker room with Rockin' Randy and Superstar Mike Mercury. Gentlemen, you made an unscheduled appearance in the GQ Centerfold Hammer Brothers match. Everyone is asking, why? That's right. We interfered. We were unscheduled. That's because we're double M and double R. That sounds like double trouble to me, because when you get superstar Mike Mercury and Rocky and Randy in the same building, that's just too much for the people to handle. And it's also too much for the Hammer Brothers to handle. I think there's a commissioner in ACW. Where is he? Gino! Gino Lanza! Hey, Mike, I'm right here. What's up? Hey, brother. Superstar Mike Mercury and Rock and Randy's fans demand that we have a tag team title match next. Now, book it. How, how can you demand a title shot? You guys aren't even near the number one contendership for, for the titles. How, with my singing and Mike's dancing, how can you deny us a title shot? I'll tell you what. Under the circumstances, great. I'm gonna book you guys for a title shot against the Hammers because I really think they would like that. I really do. See you guys next show. You two Hammers, good luck. There you have it. It's official. God's gift to women. Live on the air Saturday night, and it's time for a fight in the home of the Fighting Phoenix. That fire and Angelo Stefano, a newly bald headed Goomba here. Hey. All star championship wrestling action as Tommy Rock leads God's gift to women. Kevin Kruger, a two Mexican division, a truly talented, a truly stacked, a truly ripped individual in the battle for the first round for the ACW television title. I tell you what, besides Rock and Randy, I really like Kevin Kruger's chances to win into the TV title tournament. Too. Another veteran, a guy that's put together like a brick house. I mean, he's just massive. And he's got a close personal friend of mine, Tommy Rocks, in his corner. I like his chances, Byron, and you can't argue with me there. A little agility being displayed there by God's gift to women with his members only jacket there, apparently. Uh, well, whereas Tommy Rocks usually wields the AV projector and uh, holds the pencils, now he's holding the mirror for God's gift to women. Well, that's because Kevin likes to take a look at himself. What's wrong with that? Hey, if he was as good looking as me, I'd look at myself all the time, too. Yeah. Oh. I hate this little hick and his stupid animals he brings to the ring with them. I hope Kevin Kruger dismantles him. He's built very old good, Farmer. Hillbilly Hills, a graduate of the ACW Dojo of Pain. Looking to make an impact on ACW in the first round of the TV title tournament against the man he's taken on before and got to get the women, Kevin Kruger, this big raw bone kid. If there's a time for him to make an impact on ACW, Angelo, tonight is the night. And look at all these morons in the crowd getting on their feet and cheering. They must be a bunch of dumb country bumpkins just like Hillbilly Hills. I know they smell like it. They don't smell good like me, Byron. Yeah, you certainly have a musk about you, Angelo, but I'd rather not get into that. I'm not sure anyone else would either. As Hillbilly Hills takes it up the ringside, he's putting the goat away. He's inside the ring, and he's looking for a fight right now against God's gift to women. Referee is Mickey Doyle. Mickey Doyle, brand new referee, toting some guns here in All-Star Championship. And Hills is, Hills is trying to get the crowd into it right away. He's looking for their stupid support. He's going to need a lot of it to get by Kevin He's looking Kruger. for the fans of the Fighting Phoenix to give him a little bit of guidance here. Oh! His enthusiasm. He's got to take on a 10-year veteran and God's gift to women, Kevin Kruger, who's wrestled so many people in this business, so many big names. We're talking about Bret Hart. We're talking about Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon, so many more. And now he's a part of All-Star Championship Wrestling, and he's looking for some gold around his waist, Angelo. And he looks good in his new tights that say God's gift on the back. Hey, did that sound bad? 
It sounded very bad. Oh, it doesn't look well, anyway, a lot better either. I'm I just, glad one person at this table pays attention to the uh, script on men's posteriors as Hillbilly Hills already. Well, he's not so much going for offensive moves as he's trying to get into the head of Kevin Kruger. I'm not so sure he can do that, Hillbilly. Hillbilly Hills trying to get to the head of Kevin Kruger, and I bet a lot of women here want to get to the, um, oh. you know what, of Kevin Kruger. Oh, a faithful doublement, and Hillbilly Hills is irate. This kid's better calm down right now because he's got a Kevin Kruger on the inside, Tommy Ross on the outside, a lot of experience and a lot of deviants on the outside to take care of here. This kid's a hothead, and it's probably going to get him in trouble in this match. Kevin we've Kruger's seen it too inside experienced. the ring. Antoine, we've seen it outside the ring. This kid has trouble controlling his temper, controlling his enthusiasm. Especially when his goats don't behave, he gets really upset. Well, if there's one thing that can kick you, take you off in this world, it's a misbehaving goat, a maladjusted goat. Goes for the close line, goes for the back elbow. Kevin Kruger keeps moving up and over to the Leaf Frog. A lot of action here right away. Through the leg, slides through, keeping them off balance. Throws in the right hands. Kevin Kruger on the offense. Puts it into the ropes. Reversal. Hillbilly Hills. A bad oh. over. Oh my God, he threw him all the way across the ring. Unbelievable. Big right hands from the way up. Hillbilly Hills right now. Arm drag takedown. He slows it down. Kevin Kruger is probably on cloud nine after getting thrown around like a rag doll by Hillbilly Hills. You don't find men like Hillbilly Hills on South Beach, Angelo Stefano. Wow, this kid, a graduate of the ACW JoJo, looking pretty good initially here in this matchup. He's got a lot, a lot of raw natural ability and he's a very young man. He's got a great future ahead of him in ACW. He's going through some growing pains right now, but you can't deny the natural talent just the, the natural raw, rugged aggressiveness that you need in this business to survive, Angelo. Yeah, but if one of his goats get out of hand, then he's got to go take care of him. I think it's only a distraction. Then he's got to lay the hammer down on the goats. He should have a Hard smart... Hard tackle, up and over. He should have a smart man like Tommy Rocks in his corner. It would take him a lot farther in oh. this business. Big clothesline by Kevin Kruger, and he's looking to slow the pace down, and I hope he takes this punk apart. Tommy Rock to the sequin silver vest, looking like a uh, refugee from the Glee Club, the sophomore class Glee Club here. Oh, I don't know about that. Tommy's a fine dresser, just like me. This guy didn't just fall into the gap, he tripped it and fell on his head. Hey, I like his attire. I just wouldn't wear it, that's all. You couldn't wear it. Kevin oh, Kruger right now, God gift to women getting back on the offense here against Hillbilly Hills. Come on, Kevin, take him apart. Kevin slowed the pace down on this one. He's getting methodical here. Big elbow, planted that one beautifully right onto the chin. Gets him in the position for the pin here. Mickey Doyle goes down. Kind of one, kind of two. Wow. Kevin Kruger not hooking the leg. Uh, kind of a rookie mistake made by a veteran there. Very puzzling, Mr. Byron. Very rare you'll see Kevin Kruger. Let a mistake get the best of him in the middle of the ring, but I'm not even so sure he was ready to finish off Hillbilly Hills yet, Angelo. Are you trying to insinuate that he maybe wants to punish the kid a little bit? I'm trying to insinuate not only is the guy ripped and jacked and chiseled, he's also kind of a sadist. Well, the more of Kevin Kruger I get to see, the happier I am, so let him punish away. Um. Oh, I'll slap. see if I can get the taste out of my mouth after that one, as Kevin Kruger lays those shots into the midsection. Whips him in, Irish whip, reversal into the buckle. Hillbilly Hills gets him up behind, small package. Didn't quite get a count there. Mickey Doyle a little late getting into position there. A desperation move by Hillbilly Hills to avoid some trouble there, but now he seems to be taking the offensive. Oh, big clothesline. Wow. Beautiful Larry here by the Hillbilly. Doesn't follow up the cover though, wants to get some more offense in. Whips him in one more time, big back elbow. Oh boy. Caught him flush right into the chin once again. Oh, he's going for the finishing maneuver. His pump handle slam. Going for the goat herder. Big pump oh handle Oh my slam. God, he got Not him. Power in that he got one. him, but he hasn't covered him right now. Now he gets him. Mickey Doyle's in position. Count of one, count of two. Hey, on the, the leg's on the ropes. Woo. There's your rookie mistake right there, Angelo Stefano. That's he didn't have right. the man properly positioned in the ring. And he didn't hook the leg. And because the leg wasn't hooked, Kevin Kruger able to drape it over the bottom rope and escape a pin there. You know, Billy had an issue with Mickey Doyle there, but he's got to pay a little more attention to his charge inside the ring. We're talking about Kevin Kruger. Kruger setting him up for a suplex, it looks like here. High vertical suplex. Oh, oh no, he Face dropped first, it. the gourd buster. Face first, this might be it. Change the double A on Anderson on this two. one. Cut a two, no. And Tommy Rocks, I rate. He thought that should have been a three count. Tommy Rocks having a hissy fit on the outside of the ring as God's gift to women's got to step up the offense here. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like he's going for a sharpshooter. He's got a scorpion locked in here. He's got to turn him over, though. 
Beverly Hills, he's trying to fight for those ropes. And it, I can't see if he made it or not. He's a little bit far away right now. Mickey Doyle's in position right in his face. Ask him if he wants to ring the bell. Ask him for the submission. I think he's quitting. I think he's quitting. The fans of ACW right here at the Phoenix Sports Center, they're behind Hillbilly Hills. They're trying to support this kid. He's trying to struggle out this painful submission hold. Byron, if you listen real carefully, you can hear him. I quit, I quit, I quit. There, he just said it. He just said it. I think he gave up. We've got our ring mic pretty well. I don't hear any falsetto voices except for coming from you in the shower oh, sometimes, Andrew. Come on. That wasn't, I was under a lot of stress. Nice head, by the way. Thank you. You obviously don't understand. I'm so sure what you hear. And that's it. Oh. Hillbilly Hills tried to fight through it, but God's gift to women. Kevin Kruger gets a submission victory and advances in this ACW TV title tournament. We'll see what Kevin Kruger has in store for the future for All-Star Championship Wrestling right here on UPN 32. ACW TV champions. Oh. You're a good looking thing, yeah. You're watching it on TV. Now go check it out on the web at acwprowrestling.com. Get everything you need to satisfy your daily craving for ACW. Get the latest news on upcoming events. Learn all about the stars of ACW with profiles, pictures, and columns. And interact with actual wrestlers and other fans on the message board and in the chat room. That's acwprowrestling.com. Log on today and take cover. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with the victorious Kevin Kruger, who has just defeated Hillbilly Hills to advance in the TV title tournament. Mr. Kruger, are you surprised? I'm not surprised at all because I have the utmost confidence in my ability. I've been working out in the gym every day, working hard preparing for this tournament. All, all I keep hearing about is Dino Bambino, Kamikaze Ken, as, as the given TV title champion. You know what? The ACW TV title, my face equals ratings. So they, the ACW should make sure that I get the ACW TV title, and I will. Confidence, Kevin Kruger be thy name. See Mike? I'm sick and tired of playing games with you, brother. You see, if you wanted to play games, then you've obviously come to the wrong freaking place. <laughs> Kamikaze Ken. Right now, you're probably beating your head up against a wall, sitting, on, sitting in some stinky little gym, watching videotapes, Trying to get the upper hand on superstar Mike Mercury. You'll never learn, Ken. <sighs> Obviously, I don't think you got enough game playing in kindergarten, which probably explains the reason why it took you three tries to make it through kindergarten. Oh, little over there, sweetie. I forgot more things than you'll ever know. Oh, brother, brother, brother. You're through running, and you're definitely through hiding. You best come to Green Bay prepared to face my ass. A superstar gets superstar kind of treatment. And when you're a no-talent rookie, you get treated like a no-talent rookie. You are oh so close to truly finding out just what I mean when I say my world. You just live in it. The end always justifies the means.
finally gonna go down, Angelo Scafato, one on one. We've waited months to see it. We waited to speak the heat for these men to finally go at it. Mono and Mono in the ring. Superstar Mike Mercury, Kamikaze Ken, they're gonna settle their differences, and one man is gonna advance in the ACW TV title tournament. Absolutely right, Byron. This one's been brilliant here he for comes. a long time. Kamikaze's not waiting for anything. Oh, Kamikaze wants a piece of Mike Mercury so bad, it's not even funny. The first graduate of the ACW Dojo of Pain. The most motivated kid I've ever seen coming into the business of professional wrestling. He's the Kamikaze from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And he's got something to say. Hey, all shifts. I don't know what these people think, but I think that it's just about time for you to take your little balls I think I saw that on the internet. Sack him up and give him a freaking ring because I'm sticking to a playing game with your sorry ass. Oh, come on. We knew that for a long time. Oh, boy. And Mercury finally gets in the ring. It's underway. It's underway. Big right hands. Come on, Kazi Ken. The TV title tournament going on. The first round, big clothesline. And a lot of noise being made by Kenny's drunken family once again, inebriated to the max. That's just the way they like it. High elevation. Kamikaze Ken Anderson going to work on his former tag team championship partner, the superstar who's already bailing out. Yeah, Mike Mercury, I mean, superstar Mike Mercury. Whoa! Oh, he needs to get a game plan going here. Right Come in on. the small of the back. Mike Mercury too busy posing and printing it out on the outside. Kamikaze does not go for that. He doesn't let that go unpunished, and now he's throwing the right hands out on the floor of the Phoenix Sports Center. And the matchup we've been waiting to see a long time, and Ken Anderson is all over superstar Mike Mercury. The TV title tournament progresses. Matt Byron, Angelo Stefano, oh. right here on UPN 32 All-Star Championship Wrestling, as Mercury takes the advantage, throwing Kenny into the guardrail. And superstar Mike Mercury has the advantage now. Oh, oh and he's going to work with chops. This is a war. This is nothing short of a war. Those are shotgun style chops to the chest. This big knife. Oh! This, Nobody home on that one. This is not a wrestling match. This is personal between these two. This is a war, two. and Paul Rubens, you just better stay out of the way, buddy. That's right. Kamikaze wants to tear Mike Mercury limb from limb. Right now, I don't think either of these men are thinking about the belt. Kamikaze thinking about attacking, and Mike Mercury thinking about surviving Angelo Stefano. Yeah, superstar Mike Mercury's got to get it going on the offensive here, or he, even he won't be able to put up much longer. He's got a hold oh. on to Gary. And to Gary, he waited too long. He was trying to taunt the superstar. Mike Mercury comes in. Throws that big foot right to the side of Kenny's head, and now he's reeling. He's reeling, and the superstar's planting the boots in. Superstar just uh, throwing some boots in for a little taunting there. He wants to make Kenny pay, and pay dearly. Right in front of all his fans, right in front of UWGB, right in front of the drunken extended families you pointed out, Angelo. That's right. There is nothing on this earth Superstar would like more than to embarrass, humiliate, and pin Kamikaze right in the middle He took of the a ring. sweet time doing it, but he's doing it right now. Big suplex, vertical suplex, tons of impact right on that lower back. Superstar Mike Mercury looks like he's focused the lower back area of Kamikaze Ken to go to work on. Now he's going to work on the midsection. Now he's got it, those boots right into the stomach. Super Elbow right to the side of the head. He's kind of varying his attack right now, Angelo. Superstar taking his time here, measuring Ken Anderson, making sure he gets a lot of impact between every behind every elbow, every kick. Very oh, good effort. He gets the, the big face. boot up though. Kenny's going to attack once again. Big clothesline. Wow. And the fans love it. They love Kamikaze. And that just shows why all the fans are stupid. The family is on fire right now, Angelo. Just because oh. they won't invite you home to dinner as the superstar lays the elbow in. Devastating back elbow by superstar Mike Mercury. And now he's going to take a little time to tell the fans how great he thinks he is. And I think he's that great this too. This kid who used to have such a great relationship with the people of Green Bay, a Green Bay hero as it were, has turned his back on everyone and everything in the city. He's created nothing but... Uh, apathy and anger amongst everybody he's come in contact with and now he's laid it down on the kamikaze can count it 
almost a count of two. Well, Mike Mercury just got sick of listening to all the stupid fans. He'd go to buy groceries, fans, he'd want an autograph. He just got sick and tired of it, and I like his new attitude. These fans are his bread and butter, Angelo. You know that as well as I do. I don't care about the fans. I don't They put money in his dogs. pocket, and he just put Kenny down. Big power bomb, count of two. Oh, come on, ref. I think that was a slow count. Sit down, power bomb. Nicely executed there, but I'll tell you what. Kenny's been so focused to this day for over a month. Ever since Rockwood, ever since Denmark, ever since June 20th to beat the Heat when he was turned on in the middle of the ring. Big slam by Superstar, and it looks like he wants to go to the top turnbuckle and put this one away. Mike Mercury, he's not the greatest high flyer, although he has been known to do it. He can bury his offense, he can bury his attack. But he's taking his sweet time here, Angelo. What he, the hell's his deal? He sure is. He's taking way too much time. How many times have we seen someone try to go up top, take too much time, and then in the end, it comes back to haunt him? He's I hope that's not the case. Right now. He's being a little arrogant. He wants he's to slacking. He wants to make Kenny think about how much this is going to hurt. Oh! Deposits double mint on to Green Bay. Front oh. splash, nobody home. Oh, no. Come on, superstar. Get up. Mike Mercury paid for his arrogance, paid for his childishness, and now Kamikaze Kenny getting that adrenaline back. UWGB, the Phoenix Sports Center, they're firing them up. They're riling it up. They're making noise, Angelo. And they want Kamikaze to get back in the wrestling match here. And Kamikaze. God help oh. Mike Mercury if he does. Uh -oh. Big left hand, boxing chance, the third one. Right hand, clothesline. He's got Superstar reeling here. This isn't good. Personal hatred going on between these two. Oh! Oh! Spinning head scissors. Mike Murphy is able to slip out before he could take any serious impact, but he was still put down. It was prime for that drop kick. And it's Kamikaze again, count of two. Oh, Superstar able to escape there. Kamikaze's looking to put this one away as this, the pace of the match picks up pretty quickly here. Picks him up. Got a vertical scoop uh -oh. slam. We know Kenny's what this is. Top, and unlike Mike Mercury, this kid is an aerial specialist. We know what this is. He's setting up for his Kenton bomb, which could signal the end of this match if he connects with it. This kid is fearless. Oh. Oh, but he should feel that. Desperation move on the part of superstar Mike Mercury. The only thing that probably could have saved him there, and he was able to pull it off. That's the ring experience of uh, superstar Mike Mercury there. Setting up for a huge high-impact suplex. Sets him on superplex, oh. and he got it. He got it. He got it, and that might be it. Got to get him right now. Count of one, count of two, no leg hook. And another slow count by this peewee wannabe Paul Rubens. Come on. Paul Rubens never did anything to you, Angelo Stefano. Send him to preschool. Let him count to learn, learn how to count to three for once. Count to one. Maybe the two. I don't uh -oh. know. Uh-oh. He was looking for the Mercury driver there. Rolls one, sunset flip, count of two. That's no. It. No. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And he advances in the ACW TV title tournament, but it's not over. Oh, superstar. The jealous superstar, Mike Mercury. Superstar wants a little revenge here. He's not happy about taking the losing end. Spinning Savant kick. Right the planet on Mike Mercury. He was able to duck that just in time. Oh, and it looks like. Ten Tom bomb time, Angelo. That's right. It looks like he's going to try to hit this anyway. It's not enough to win the match. Ken Anderson has to prove a point, and he's about to do it. Wait, wait oh, a minute. Hey, Rock and Randy. We got Rock and Randy coming out to help his bloody superstar, Mike Mercury. Rock and Randy saving the bacon up to the Phoenix superstar here. Wow. Maybe it's a lucky thing for a superstar that Rock and Randy made his way down to ringside, or he could have been. What do have in common? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they like each other, plutonically, of course. I should hope so. I don't even want to explore that relationship, but Kamikaze Ken Anderson, he's on the mat right now, but he's victorious, and he's looking for gold right here at ATW. The TV title will be advancing in that very shortly as we continue with All-Star Championship Wrestling. We'll see you next week. Matt Byron and Angelo Stefano on UPN 32.
Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with the Hammers Brothers, who most recently have had a run-in with Mike Mercury and Rockin' Randy, who will now, it is official, as Gino Lanza has said, be taking them on for a title shot. How does this make you feel? How do you think this makes us feel? You want to come into our squared circle, jump on our backs, and that's how you get a title shot? You didn't even come up to us face to face like men. You look like two little Brett Michael girly boys coming up from behind like the 80s hair bands trying to make some bad comeback. Why well, ain't impressed? And you know what? You do get a title shot. That's been granted. And we'll defend these belts anywhere at any time. So we'll bring the pain. All you got to do is show up. I have a feeling there will be play, pain aplenty. Next week on ACW TV, Sam Payne takes on Mason Diggs in the television title tournament. But Dino Bambino waits in the wings with something special for the fallen angel. Adrian Lynch makes his first public statement since becoming the ACW heavyweight champion. And Rock and Randy's karaoke stylings don't sit too well with one WCW superstar, the monster known as Mane.